Hand on Demand, free episode. Well, we've uh, we've been walking for about an hour. Just a slow, steady walk up. It's been a bit of a graph for me, but uh, we're. Uh, we're on a little bit of a plateau now. We can basically see, I don't know, 180 degrees around us of uh, faces that are like alpine meadows and like rock screen that's perfect for chamois. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon and uh, we're uh, just trying to make a decision if we sit here for a bit and just spot or we carry on up a little bit further. So uh, for me, we can stop here for, <laughs> for half an hour and have a break. But uh, fan fantastic to be up here. Uh, I've just seen a, a, a golden eagle come off a rock face and fly away, uh, which is incredible. Um, I, uh, I'm always so happy to come back to this place. Uh, we're in the Dachstein region of Austria with some friends, uh, the Colorados, uh, which you will have seen on my films in the past. And uh, it's a family hunt, so we're out. And, uh, just testing out their, um, their products, uh, the Hubertus Loden, which is the traditional practical loading gear. And I've got to say, I'm really impressed. I've just walked up there, thought I'd really be sweating in them, but I'm not, I'm really comfortable. And uh, I'm, I'm actually just kneeling in quite damp grass. No problem at all, so uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, hopefully we can show you some action in a short while. Sonst können wir noch länger warten. Am Abend geht der Wind dann teil aus. 
aufpassen, wenn die Games noch da sind. German, what we're going to do. Okay, sure. So, hi, hand on demand, guys. We are now on a not führing the guys. We have already made a schon. Die is immer the am the Rand der Gruppe gestanden, hat abgesichert und hat uns bis jetzt zum Glück noch nicht gehabt. Wir sind ziemlich offen da, zum Teil aufgepirscht, aber es bietet uns keine andere Möglichkeit. Das Wild ist jetzt genau hinter uns auf 250 Meter. Wir werden jetzt ein paar Meter in den Bestand reingehen. So eine kleine Schneise, wo wir uns hinlegen werden. Und dann werden wir die Games noch einmal beobachten, weil die haben sich wieder durchgemischt. Da müssen wir wieder die eine Geiß finden, aber sie hat am linken Schlauch, habe ich sehr markant, weil sie sehr weiß, sehr hell. Und das ist auch ein sehr interessantes Zeichen. So auf den ersten Anblick dürfte sie eine Einsergeiß sein, aber ich muss mir das noch einmal genau anschauen. Ziel ist eine nicht führende Geiß, also wenn es passt, würden wir auch eine Zweier schießen in der Uhr damit einverstanden ist. Wir haben aber noch, ich habe erst zwei Games erlegt und, so, und wir haben noch viele Möglichkeiten. Versuchen aber natürlich unser Geschlechterverhältnis beizubehalten und schauen, dass wir einen gesunden Kampfsbestand haben. Vor circa fünf Jahren hatten wir die letzte Heudeperiode, die hat den Bestand ziemlich reduziert. Und jetzt versuchen wir halt jagdlich sehr ruhig davor zu gehen, wenige zu erlegen und dann nur die ganz passenden Stücke. Also schau mal, wie so was passiert. Perfekt. Yeah. So, I just described about the disease we had also. Then we try to correctly manage. It's very important. About yeah, about absolutely, yeah. Uh, it might be interesting to say that uh, I've hunted with uh, um, uh, his father for about, I think, here in the late 90s, mid 90s, late 90s. So. At least 25, 26 years ago, I was up in the same area, and then a few times since. So I was just saying off camera how incredibly lucky I feel to be in this area again. And it's not just about this hunt, it brings back many happy memories and friends we met in the Hutte, and, and that whole situation is um, so wonderful and so Austrian. Uh, they're such great hosts. And uh, if, if, if nothing happens, from this on this afternoon we've still got an incredible memory we've um, we've done our best to get into a position and um, yeah it's uh, it's just that hunting luck wasn't on our side so we've got a tricky next half an hour to get into the position through this back of here without being seen and get into a sh sh suitable shooting position we've got to hurry up a bit as well as we miss that's a bit ich gas came up jetzt schon späten Nachmittag, ich glaube es ist schon halb fünf und wir sollten schauen, dass wir circa in zwei Stunden vom, vom Sonnenuntergang da den Schuss anbringen, weil wenn wir eine Nachsuche haben, haben wir ein Problem, muss man vielleicht morgen sogar raufgehen. Wir wollen da jetzt nicht ins Finstere reinkommen, das ist am Berg ganz was anderes als im Tal unten, da kann es schon nochmal gefährlich werden auch, vor allem wenn das Wetter umschwingt. Es hat jetzt zwar gehalten, aber Regen ist angesagt, schaut nach Regen aus, also Oh, and let's get it going. Okay, let's get it going.
skyline. Look at it on the skyline, Dan. <laughs> so, we put a big effort in this afternoon. We've really snuck into position with over 40 eyes looking at us. And um, one old guys, female in particular, um, that we were after would not stop looking down to where we were coming in. And uh, we don't know what it was, the wind was good, everything, but we were less than, we were under 400 meters getting into a 300 meter shot. And uh, they just suddenly decided they were going and they've left the mountain. Quite literally, straight up and over the top. Can wave at them, yeah. like, hello. <laughs> so in German, Alex? Yeah, we have leider einen Fehler gemacht. Wir sind ein bisschen zu laut da in diesen Bestand rein und haben die, die Gemsen da hoch gemacht. Die sind innerhalb von fünf Minuten von der kleinen Gabelung unten hier einfach rauf und keine Chance, die anzugehen wäre erstens einmal zu spät und zweitens, zweitens sind sie sind Gemsen immer schneller als der Mensch am Berg. Und ja, Owen, we have to try another Das ist die Jagd. Das ist die Jagd, ja. <lacht> Das wir hatten einen, einen wunderschönen Anblick, also ich ah. bin super happy, dass wir so viele Games im Anblick hatten. Ist proper auch nicht hunt. Immer yeah, it's uh, proper hunt, yeah. great to be here. So, uh, day one, we're here for a few more days, so uh, with Tom Shamwar for tomorrow, so uh, hopefully we see what we get. And, uh, well, we've still got to walk out yet, haven't we? You never exactly, know. we've got plenty of chances left. A few left. hours before it's dark, but uh, starting to turn a little bit stormy. Not that I'm cold, it's not cold, it's just... Look at yeah. the loading. Yeah. yeah! Yes, it's a very practical kit I've learned, you know what I mean? I've been kneeling in water and everything. Yeah, and, uh, and it's yeah. dry again, right? It's dry again, I have yeah. my, my cow shit here still. Cow shit? <laughs> yeah. You've got some Always blueberries on cow muck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happens, it's tradition. Uh, yeah, anyway. For the audience, also we're going now to the auswärts, runter zur Hütte. Wir haben dann noch die Chance hier links draußen etwas zu sehen und falls es sich noch ausgeht, werden sich die Herren noch ansetzen. Ich muss mich jetzt dann für die Grüne Messe vorbereiten und hoffe, dass, die, dass ihr noch eine schöne Jagdzeit habt für die nächsten zwei, drei Tage. Die Isabella wird euch begleiten, glaube ich. Ich habe leider keine Zeit, ähm, würde sehr gerne dabei sein. And as we say, tomorrow is another day. Exactly, tomorrow is another day. <laughs> so okay. um, let's get going. Let's get going. The schnapps and beer at the Hütte. Everything is there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hope. Seventeen in total up there. And it's four hundred and ninety meters. Right in front of us there is a mature old 
cool guys it's a female very very black one there are some kids playing around and there is the oldest buck is much higher and he is looking taking care of everybody and that's amazing such a big family What a day we've had. The weather has been inclement to say the least. We've had real gale force winds and brightened up sunshine, but we've always had the wind against us. Now we came out late afternoon and uh, saw a group that turned out to be quite a big group, 15, 20 chamois up there, with suitable beasts that we were after. And uh, um, we picked our way up to a, uh, like a little seat that looks onto the face, but they were 450, 500 meters away and not coming down. Now we look to our right and then 280, 300 metres up is one single chamois on its own. And we've crawled up, picked up, picked up and we just can't find it. I've even got the thermal out to try and find him but we've lost the light now. We couldn't even identify the uh, length of his horn so uh, we're going to knock it on the head for today and uh, be back out in the morning. But, uh, oh, frustrated. <laughs> Yeah. That's his yak. We go again <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> we go again tomorrow. I might have a lie in. <laughs> anyway, come on. Well, it's the next day, uh, it's about nine o'clock in the morning, and the weather is, yeah, wet again. <laughs> um, there's no wind though today, um, but yeah, it's very heavy rain, and uh, the temperature's dropped um, quite considerably, so now we've got where the chamois are on the mountain, we've got heavy snow, um, so yeah, it's going to be a different challenge today, trying to find them in the snow. But yeah, we're trying to find that same group that we we were out after last night and uh, yeah, see if we could pick them up. Well, um, I'm making my way up this, uh, this sort of like a uh, face that's covered in small like alpine bushes and regeneration to try and get in front of uh, this kind of rock face up here. Um, we've split in two, uh, um, Matthias and the boys have gone off looking along the, uh, uh, the forestry edges um, for chamois. Now I'm coming up here to a vantage point uh, of a little hutter, like a dough box we call it. I'm just making mark, it's about 150 metres in front of me. Um, to sit in there for a few hours and see if anything moves. Because yesterday we came up here in the rain and there was nothing in the morning uh, and then so like early, early afternoon, there was 20 on this face, so uh, oh, it's fantastic to be here. I haven't got it on film, but I've just seen a, a red squirrel, well, the virtually black squirrels at this time of the year with a thick, uh, dark coat. Uh, but uh, nothing, nothing, I, it, anything I show you on film cannot uh, really capture what I'm feeling at the moment and how incredible it is to be up here and be lucky enough to, to hunt in these Alps in the Dachstein region of Austria. Uh, we're very, very fortunate each year um, to come up here and do this. Um, 
and uh, well, it's just stunning, really. So we try to get lower down into the forest now. There, is, there are some mineral licks behind this corner and uh, the snow is coming further down and it's getting colder. So this is a very quiet uh, area. There are no touristy bits and pieces, no bikers. That's why they sometimes like to have a rest in this area. So when we stalk about 200 meters right behind this corner, and then we have to go through a small uh, uh, forest to be as hidden as possible because then there's a huge bank which hopefully is the place to walk. For a couple of hours, I've seen nothing, only uh, black grouse, but uh, uh, we're, I'm going to meet the guys at the bottom as a track uh, about 40 minutes below us, um, so hopefully I'm going to meet them there. Uh, I've just managed to get a message through to them on the phone and we're going to go back to the hutter and get a bit warmer and then come back out this afternoon. So. Uh... Well, uh, the weather hasn't changed, it's still horrendous um, and the clouds are right on the edge of the tree line but um, Matthias, is, my mate has spotted um, a group of chamois up there, we think it's the same group from yesterday evening um, so hopefully about 20, 25 chamois up there. Uh, there's guys, females with kits, and um, yesterday uh, we spotted a buck up there as well. Um, so I hope it's up there, but we haven't got very good visibility. I mean, we've just been looking through this, and the clouds come down and just blocked it out, but that gives us a good opportunity to now to try and get up there. It's quite a hike, it's probably an hour up to where we can actually get a place for a shot, and that's if they don't see us. So uh, if the cloud stays low like it is, then we'll be okay. But if it suddenly clears, it might just uh, reveal what we're trying to attempt. So uh, it's our, uh, our last chance for today. Um, it's middle of the afternoon and we've probably got about four hours of light left. So it's what we're gonna do. <laughs> see really strong and uh, although it took us a, an hour to get up it's going to take us a, a lot longer to get down because we came up a very steep part we're going to have to try and pick a way down uh, a lot gentler slope so uh, that's uh, that chamois hunting for today it's finished so uh, difficult can't believe that two days ago we had sunshine and I was I was stalking in shirt sleeves and now I've got three layers on and uh, thank God for me, uh, Merkel kit. This Alpinist jacket has been absolutely awesome. So uh, this is, that's what it is, but uh, frustrating, but that was, that's what makes Cham Chamois Gamps hunting so incredibly uh, challenging and something that is my favorite hunt without a doubt. And uh, today they got the better of us, but uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll be back out if the weather's not too bad. But if the snow comes in, that's our trip finished. Jetzt anmelden und 20% sparen mit dem Code HUDFREE23.
service in Badland Sile and welcome to the Austrian Alps. I'm here uh, with my uh, lovely friend Isabella. Badland Sile? Yes, the, the daughter of my good friend Leonard and we're um, in the Dastein region. Yes, exactly. Dastein region. Close to Schladming. And Schladming. we've been here for four days and the first day we hunted with Isabella and you'll see from the film how lovely it was and gloriously autumn and then three days later it's uh, minus temperatures and it's the first snows of the autumn. Uh, it's our last day and um, I'm hunting in traditional Austrian gear uh, which is new to me. Uh, I'm kind of trying and testing it out. This is a Hubertus product and um, well I'm snug as a bug in a rug at the moment. So uh, can you explain to my German viewers what we're doing? In German of course yeah. I guess. In so. <laughs> Ja, Weimanns Heil an alle. Wir sind hier in der Dachsteinregion. Ähm, wie ihr sehen könnt, ist das Wetter ganz anders heute. Es schneit, es hat schon ja, sicher 10 cm geschneit. Und äh, wir sind hier in unserer Hubertus-Ausrüstung. Es ist äh, wasserabweisend und äh, hält uns warm. Und dann werden wir die, den Berg da jetzt noch hoch und hoffentlich ein paar Gams sehen. So, off we go up the mountain and uh, hopefully we'll uh, be able to show some chamois and if we're even more lucky we might even get to shoot one but if we don't we're still having a fantastic day and das ist Jagd. Das ist Jagd. Exactly. Come on then, take me to the top of the mountain. <laughs> So fantastic, thank you so much. We had an incredibly long shot for me. Um, we were all getting very cold. We've been waiting, waiting for this book to stand up. Then suddenly we called and shouted to try and get him to stand because we're running out of light, running out of time. And uh, first shot hit him real good strike as far as I was concerned. Hard on the shoulder. Yeah, but he's still recovered and uh, they're such hardy beasts these things are. So anyway, he's down now. We've got probably half an hour, 40 minutes to get to him and then get him back here. We've left all our bags here and then we've got a good hour or so to get him out. So, uh, that is Wish us luck. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so happy. Wide man style. Wide man's dank. Thank you. Let's go. Right, Come on. Let's, let's... <laughs> Thank you. 
we've got to get ourselves up there quite a way yet got to, and then we're going to have to quick grolic, quick photograph and then the long drive back to the hutta for a nice drink of schnapps oh, yes. <laughs> Fantastic, look at this. Right, oh, Owen. Thank you so much. Look at him. Oh, oh. Gorgeous. Look at him, bless him. Wow. What a, what a book. What a week we've had. Thank you, Isa. Oh, right, one's high. Mwah. But we'll have to do it the Austrian oh. traditional way. Look how wide he is here. I never shot one like that before. Good book. Don't know the age, we'll count it later, but oh, look at him. Really, really Thanks. stunning book. There you go. Thank you. The last bite. The last bite. Awesome. Right, man's out, Dad. Thanks, son. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely incredible hunt this week. We started off in glorious autumn weather and um, <laughs> ended up in uh, knee deep snow. That is the Alps for you. And uh, shot this stunning Chamois book. This is why, look where the bullet is. Absolutely on the yeah, money. Perfect. That's the exit perfect. hole. Yeah. Why didn't that put yes. him down? Yeah. It's just so strong. Winter, they're so tough. It, uh, yeah, they are. Um, I'm using an outfitter, one of the outfitter uh, ammunition. And um, yeah, fantastic. Brilliant. What a beautiful, beautiful chamois. I'm so lucky to do this. Stunning. I hope this is not my last one. No, definitely not. <laughs> I'm getting, not your last getting one a bit either. old for this job. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Look at that. And hopefully not the last one with me. <laughs> no. <laughs> and after a wonderful hunt, the most important thing is that we show our respect for the quarry that we've hunted. And uh, as is Austrian tradition, is a... Hey! Right man's heil. Mwah. Mwah. Let's do three. Mm, three, Mwah. of course. Let's do 23. That's for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Awesome. Put it in my oh, peaky what blinders. What a great hunt. In your peaky blinders hat, of course. <laughs> on top of the mountain. Oh. Birmingham, right here in Austria. <laughs> oh, there we go. Fantastic. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got to say, I've been in Hubertus Loden last few days and I am completely layered up. Absolutely toasty. Um, I mean, this is wet, but it's just kind of not going through. Um, so pleased with what we're in. Iz has got the same on, but she's got this lovely hand warmer. Muff. Muff. Absolutely That's awesome. Great. Brilliant. What a great, what a great film for us and our hunt and demand hunt viewers. Would you like just... to say something in Austrian for them? <laughs> Describe Austrian, it a little bit. Yeah, the jagd war wahnsinn. Uh, it was sehr, sehr spannend. Wir sind hier zuerst drauf gekommen und es war voller, voller Nebel. Äh, zuerst haben wir gedacht, wo sind die ganzen Gams? Nirgends haben wir irgendwas gesehen. Dann haben wir eine kurze Pause gemacht. Und äh, wie wir die Pause im Prinzip beendet haben, habe ich einen Gams raufspringen gesehen. Habe dann gesagt, oh, und den anderen gesagt, wir müssen jetzt schnell schauen, da sind ein paar Gams oben. Und dann haben wir die Gams gesichtet. Aber ein Bock ist uns leider weggesprungen, der eigentlich auch perfekt gepasst hätte. Und ein paar Meter unterhalb ist der gestanden, hat sich aber dann gebettet. Nachdem wir bereit wären zu schießen, äh, haben eine Zeit lang gewartet, sicher, how long did we wait? Für <lacht> 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 uh, hours, but I bet it was a good hour and a half. Ja, eineinhalb Stunden. At sicher. least an hour and a half. He was laid down. Dann, ja. And then we were running out of light, weren't we? So we were like, tried to do a whistle, and then a shout, and then nothing. And then he didn't respond to that, and then, he decided to get up and then I was ready and he literally stretched and uh, I aimed exactly on it, we'd uh, clicked it up, we'd, uh, we'd, I think we'd um, ranged him at 2, 290, 280, 290, 40, 14 clicks on our, on our loophole scope and um, well, I'm, the first shot I hit him, we'll, we'll, when we come to clean him in a minute we'll just look where the shot is but Either that's the first shot or the second shot. It's just absolutely on the money. Yeah. But they're so stuck, so strong. They can take that bullet, you know, and that was 165 grain on a 308. I mean, that floors everything in the UK. But uh, 
What a beast, eh? Yeah, we what could see and hear the first yeah, shot, yeah, and I yeah. said you hit him perfectly, yeah, but yeah. still he I was know, keeping on. And but look at the uh, look at the blood trail here. I mean, Dan will film that in a minute, but you can see he was go he was going now, but he's trying to trying to actually come downhill, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was uh, trying to come anyway, towards us. So it well, be. we better get this cleaned because we uh, really have got time against us at the moment, and we've got a long haul back. But what a fantastic day in the Alps. Fantastic, is it? So, oh, so, so nice. pleased, awesome, so absolutely, happy. really Glad chuffed a bit. Uh, and to share it with my sons, Tom was with us. Unfortunately, yesterday he didn't have the luck in another area with our guest Matthias, and uh, and I was today a guest um, with Isa and their family, and uh, and I was just right at the end. We didn't think we were going to get a film out of it, and we did. So fantastic. So. Weidman's yes. dank Weidman's for me. Weidman's hired. Yeah, Weidman's, Weidman's dank for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Well, I've been wearing uh, Hubertus Loden all day and uh, I'm an English guy as you can hear. I'm used to tweed, I'm used to technical fabrics and I'm using something that's 100 years old here, the Loden. Uh, this is the uh, uh, Retiflex Mini, that's correct isn't it, is it, yeah? And I've been wearing it all day and I just want to show you this testament. Absolutely bone dry inside. I've been in rain, I've been in snow, I've fell over, I've got up absolutely incredible what a piece of kit it's just sat over my shoulders slipped my arms through and it's kept the bulk of the the water and snow and we've we've waited for a chamois for an hour and a half when it was absolutely sleeting it down what a piece of kit what a piece of kit that's gone definitely going on my christmas list <laughs>